My name is George Champis. My name is Dr. Amr Aldeen. We're both assistant professors at Northwestern University. Every day, a thousand people die of sudden cardiac arrest in the United States. That translates to about 300,000 people a year. It can strike the very young and the very old. So in 2006, uh, while traveling in Greece with my family, uh, my 32-year-old cousin passed away in my hands. He died from uh, sudden cardiac death, and so that has basically uh, been an imprint in my life. Sudden cardiac arrest survival decreases at a rate of about 10% per minute. Properly performed CPR can reduce that rate to about 4%. It can happen in, in, in people's homes, in people's workplace, along the streets of Chicago, along the lakeshore, in the parks. It is crucial that we get this message out across our city. Dr. Champs and I started an organization called CCARES, which stands for Chicago Cardiac Arrest Resuscitation Education Service. CCARES brings together groups such as American Heart Association, American Red Cross, and several other institutions. So we all are very familiar with the Heimlich Maneuver, and that's where we want to go with hands-only CPR. Part of the problem with traditional CPR is that people are often reluctant to perform it because of basically the fears of mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation. Hands-only CPR essentially removes the mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation component, uh, so you're only doing chest compressions. And it requires simply to uh, start compressions hard and fast. Uh, 100 times a minute. And bystanders have been more willing to perform chest compressions only uh, in an effort to help save lives. Our first goal is to work in, in the city of Chicago and make this a public safety issue. We recently visited the city council and discussed the need for hands-only CPR as well as uh, AED placement and training. We at CCARES are starting to devise a training module so that we can train all 12,000 CPD officers in hands-only CPR and how to use an AED, or an Automated External Defibrillator. We are currently in talks with the Chicago Public School System to train its roughly 47,000 employees in a manner similar to the CPD e-learning program. The Simulation Lab at Northwest University has been a great partner with, with this project. We in the simulation have long had the experience that folks learn more quickly when they have an opportunity to practice. So the simulation center is actually providing substantial support to bring community members in to learn how to perform CPR correctly using simulators. The ability to have that experience will make people definitely more confident in their skills. Working with CCARES represents a volunteer effort for me. I do it because I want to help save lives. And if one life is saved because of this, then it was uh, all worth it. And I think that that's how we can make a difference in our city.